In this video I'm going to take you through the additional solar PV panels that we've had installed. Yeah, stay tuned. Hi, John Tisbury here. If this is your first time here and you're interested in Tesla Model 3, Kona EV, solar PV, all that kind of thing, renewables, then hit the subscribe button hit the notification bell icon to be notified of new updates as and when I upload them. In this video I'm going to take you through the additional solar panels that we've had fitted today. The guys have only just left, it's uh, just after, what is it, four o'clock, and uh, they managed to do the whole installation in a day and uh, without actually turning the electricity off, so uh, very well done. I'm just looking down because um, the cat's wandering around my legs. So what have we had done? So we've had six sun power panels, they're 390 watt panels each, so it gives us a total of 2.34 kilowatts. Now adding to our 4 kilowatt existing takes us to just over 6 kilowatts, uh, which is ideal. So they are um, two separate systems, we've got two separate inverters, so we've got a solar edge inverter now sitting next door to our SMA Sunny Boy inverter. So we've got a friend up there. Uh, we're not connected to the app yet. We're waiting for that to, to happen. Um, but it's all installed and it's, uh, gen well, as I say, generating electricity. It's not because it's uh, sun's gone behind the clouds. It's almost sunset here in the UK at uh, 4 p.m. Um, so I'll have to wait till tomorrow to see what's what. But I'll be interested to see how they work and how they fare. I suspect until the scaffolding is taken down and we don't have any shading on any of the panels, um, they're not going to work too well. We do have the, um, the panel optimizers, the solar edge panel optimizers on, so even if one panel is shaded, the other one should still go fairly well. But we will see how that works out. Um, the install was done by Stratford Energy and um, they did a really good job. Two guys were here at sort of 8 o'clock and uh, worked through non-stop right through to 4. So it's a full day's job to do the installation and it's very very neat um, that they're, you know, the installation that they've done. So I'll show you some of the, the things um, up behind me, well it's now in front of me because I've just turned around, <laughs> is the scaffolding which was erected on... I'm trying to think what day it is on Tuesday, so that was done yesterday. Today's Wednesday when the PV is, was fitted and hopefully the scaffolding will be down tomorrow. That was the, the plan. So we'll see how that works. Let's just, just take you around here. In our electric cupboard there's not much change actually. We've got an additional 
CT clamp. So this is the Solar Edge CT clamp. So we'll see how those all fare together over time, knowing the, the issues that we had previously with our CT clamps and positioning. And come inside. Oh, it's a bit warmer in here. Just turn the lights on. So here we have our new generation meter over on this side. You can see it's got four watts at the moment. <laughs> so it is actually working, but um, we'll really see it much better tomorrow. You may hear the boiler because the boiler just kicked in as well. Got an isolator there and then up in the fuse box we've got a new fuse in there for the PV.